In a Soho, you have similar requirements to what you have in a corporate office. You need network connectivity. You need access to the internet. You need to be able to print things. But obviously, your requirements are a little bit different because it, maybe it's just you. It's a single person. So you don't have quite the same type of equipment that you'll use, although the functionality will be very similar. One example is with your internet connection. Back at your corporate office, you might have a very big router that has large internet connections on it, lots of pipe, lots of speed. But in your home office, you don't need that kind of bandwidth. Usually, you would purchase right off the shelf an internet router, or maybe the ISP that's providing you with this service is giving you the internet router to use as part of the contract that you have with them. This is not only just giving you access to the internet, but often these devices are providing things like network address translation. So you can plug in multiple devices there in your Soho and use that single connection back out to the internet. Unlike an internet router you might get for your home, if this is a Soho, you might need a way to connect back to the corporate office over an encrypted tunnel. And so you might want to get a higher end internet router or one that has the capability of building IPsec tunnels from site to site. That way, everything that you send out over this connection back to corporate is in an encrypted tunnel. And even if somebody was able to tap into that link and see the data that was going by, they wouldn't be able to understand any of the traffic that was going through there, and all of your traffic would be absolutely secure. And these days, your internet routers do so much more than just routing or setting up IPsec tunnels. They can provide you with wireless capabilities. They can do content filtering for you or URL filtering. They might even have intrusion prevention capabilities as well to give you just a little bit more security since you're not going to be using the corporate firewalls and the other security devices that you might have in a large corporate environment. In a Soho, you don't have the luxury of a large chassis-based switch with lots of blades that you can slide in cards in and out that have hundreds of ports in them like you might have at a corporate office. In a home office, you only have a few devices that you might need to connect. So you might want to get a separate Ethernet switch just for that. These Ethernet switches have options to be managed or unmanaged depending on whether your corporate office needs to access this device to see how well it's running, to see how much traffic is going through each port to perhaps perform any type of remote support or diagnostics, you would want to be able to get a switch that was managed. Or you might get one that is unmanaged, which means the corporate office and the people who are doing the technical work on this device may not be able to get a lot of information about the health of the switch. But unmanaged devices tend to cost a lot less. So you've got some advantages from a cost perspective there. Sometimes you've got additional features built into some of these switches, different speeds that you can do on different ports. You can configure different VLANs on the switch. And obviously, you might need to grow later on. It might start with just you and another person in an office. And as you hire more people, you might want to have an Ethernet switch there with additional ports available so you can simply plug in those new connections as the business grows. At your corporate office, you might have a scanner. You might have a printer that might be a separate fax machine. But in a Soho, you don't have a lot of room. And usually, it's just you that needs to operate these. So you don't have a lot of need for people to do multiple things at one time. These all-in-one printers have become the perfect option for the Soho because you've got printing, you've got scanning, you've got faxing all built into the same device. And that gives you a way to not only provide a way to print out information, but now perform some of the other normal tasks you have with paper or paperless type environments. These are usually networked. You plug them into a network connection. They might even be able to connect to the wireless network. So you don't even have to physically plug it into a switch. You just turn it on. It finds your wireless network. And then over the wireless network, you can print directly to it or scan directly from it. Often has the copier capability built in. So you can put a piece of paper on the top, hit a button, and it prints out a duplicate copy of that. It also usually can scan for you. So if you've received some information that you would like to share with someone else who's not at your local home office or, or small office, you can scan that piece of paper and then simply email somebody a PDF version of the piece of paper that you have in your hand. And occasionally, you do need fax capabilities, especially in legal environments and medical environments. You still have to be able to send a facsimile over a telephone line from one end to the other. And these all-in-one devices can provide that as well. So as you're setting up your small office or home office, make sure that your devices are specifically designed to handle the needs for somebody who is in one of these smaller working environments.